Welcome to another edition of Aztecs Now Online. And as always, we're talking football with uh, Coach Brady Hoke. And, you know, you always talk about how in a game there's six to eight plays that make a difference and it almost seemed like against Utah they had one more of those big plays that they made than you guys did. Well, there's no doubt. And I think when you're playing someone of equal, equal caliber and uh, somebody that uh, you're going to go out and compete with, if you don't execute on every opportunity, then uh, bad things happen, and that's what happened for us on, on uh, Saturday night. You know, we, we do a poor job at the end of the first half, really on both sides of the ball, where we got a chance to make it a 14-point or really a 17-point game and at halftime, and instead it's a 14-point swing, and, uh, uh, you know, that put us behind the eight ball a little bit. But our kids continued to fight, and they continued to battle, and uh, I'm proud of our football team. Ryan Lindley throws for 528 yards, great numbers passing. Uh, the run game didn't really do what it has done in other games. Is it a question of, of teams really beefing up against the run or just and, and you're taking what's what's given to you? Well, I think Al and the staff offensively did a great job with, uh, number one, how we came out in the game with a quick tempo and the no huddle and some of the things that were effective. But I think it got Utah a little bit on their heels. Uh, I think when you look at what they wanted to do defensively, I think the passing game, uh, really helped us in uh, uh, their blitz look and their different blitzes for run. And uh, I thought the guys up front did a pretty good job of picking things up and staying together offensively. And I know uh, defensively the Hail Mary, that's a play that yeah. people are going to talk about. I, I, just out of, out of curiosity, when that play happens, obviously it's a momentum changer. How do you deal with that at halftime? And, and then obviously the Aztecs answered and went back up 10. Right. Well, I, I think, you know, uh, that's one of the things I most enjoy about our football team is, you know, we went in the, uh, the locker room and really at halftime and just kind of talked about what we needed to do. And part of that uh, was stay together. It's going to be a 60-minute game. Uh, you know, play better than we had and uh, do some better things on both sides of the ball and uh, do some better things in the kicking game, which uh, at the end of the day was one of our thorns in our side also. Now, this is year two for you and your staff and the players getting to know all of that. Four ranked teams that you play, and, and that's a great gauge for where the program is. And as you look at that, all close games. Well, the kids, you know, I think they really understood, Steve, the, the expectations that we have as a program. And I think the way they play for each other and the respect they have for each other. And, and I think that keeps you accountable and it keeps you um, as a team uh, uh, preparing well and doing all the things, the little things that you need to do to be successful. And, you know, we, we've only scratched the surface uh, to what kind of program we want to be. And I, I know how important any program the seniors are. Yeah. And it's uh, senior day against UNLV, 5 o'clock kick. Uh, talk a little bit about that group and the importance and how you go into this week for those seniors. Well, you know, we started yesterday, you know, with our our, our meeting on Sunday, and I talked about the seniors and how valuable and how, how much I appreciate where they've taken us to this point, you know, and uh, they've really, um, you know, the last year's group built the foundation, and these guys have kind of uh, added to that foundation and have uh, done a really good job of uh, the expectations that we have for them, which is, if you're a senior, you got to play your best football. And I think some guys have been playing their best football in that group. And if you're a senior, you've got to leave a legacy to the guys who uh, come behind you and how you want to practice, how you want to work in the weight room, and all the things that go to you know being somebody that's going to uh, be a, a competitive football program. And I know you don't like talking about the B word, yep. what might happen after Saturday, but how do you deal with your team after Saturday's game from that point forward? Well, we're going to give them a couple of days off to get some things done. You know, uh, I think we all have an indication where we're going to be, and we're excited about that. Uh, if I that, didn't say the word, by the well, way. Well, I know you did good. I thought, okay. I thought you handled that very well. Thank you. And, but, and then we've got a, a schedule that I think is going to be conducive for us uh, through the finals week a little bit and how we're going to practice, when we're going to practice. You know, we will get back in the weight room. Uh, as soon as we can uh, because there's some strength gains that you naturally lose during the course of a season that we want to try and get back. Thanks, Coach, and uh, good luck this week. Thanks, Steve.
Coming up next, we're joined by junior defensive lineman Jerome Long. We'll get his thoughts on the UNLV game as Aztecs Now Online continues. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Thomas back to Leonard for the hammer. Because all I do is win, win, win. And you go ahead, put your hands in the air, make them stay there. Welcome back to Aztecs Now Online. We are joined by junior defensive lineman Jerome Long, and, and obviously a, a game that you always want to win, tough one to lose to Utah, 38-34. Yeah. to 34. Uh, talk a little bit about the mentality of the team coming out of that game. It's 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 tough to lose any game, you know, um, especially you know when our goal uh, going into last week was to win ten games, and we needed to do that. We needed to win out the last three games, and uh, obviously we didn't meet that goal. Um, but you know now we're just moving on to the next game, UNLV. Uh, we got to play for our seniors. It's the last home game they're going to play in uh, Aztec Warrior Stadium, and. Uh, we're uh, going to bounce back and, and really, really get after UNLV. I was talking to Coach Hoke earlier and, and ask you the same thing about the opponents that you played this year, four top 25 teams. You win one of them, the other three are very close. You know, that, that has to give you a sense of how quickly this program has, has, has risen. Yeah, um, I mean, we've, we've always known we had talent. And uh, once we put it together and, and, and started playing football like we can and executing and uh, playing with toughness that, that we could play against any team. Um, and, and really going into each week that we played a ranked opponent, we weren't, uh, you know, thinking like, oh, they're ranked, you know. Right. We obviously looked at them as a good team, but uh, we weren't intimidated. And, but we, uh, we, we were definitely going to get after them. And the defense has made great improvement throughout the year. What, what do you think of the reasons why there there has been that adjustment to a to a much higher level as the season has evolved? Uh, I just think uh, as as uh, the year goes on, you know, guys are just starting to get to know the defense more and uh, knowing what to do and in, in what situations and not having to think so much. It's more of a, a habit now uh, that because we've uh, gotten used to it and and know it more than we did last year and in the beginning of this year. Uh, so it allows us to play at a higher speed. And we're, we're taping this thing on, on Monday. And have you seen much tape of UNLV now? What, what, are, the, what are their tendencies that, uh, that you're looking at for them from an offensive standpoint for them and defensively for you? Uh, I think that they uh, come off the ball well. Um, they're, they're a pretty solid line. Uh, I haven't watched much on them yet. but. Uh, but from what I've seen, the, they, they're, they're, they're pretty good. All right. And, and we've heard the same thing. So it should be a, an interesting game. And I know you, you know and the team knows, even though Coach Hogue doesn't like to talk about it, after UNLV there will be one more game. So mm -hmm. uh, to, to finally get this uh, program back to that point, uh, what is the talk amongst the team regarding getting to a bowl game? Uh, right now, nothing. Because this week it's UNLV. Uh, so... We don't, we don't look ahead. We look at the next team that we're going to play. Uh, but after this week, I mean, it's, it's going to be great. We get another opportunity to play football, and it's another opportunity for our seniors, uh, uh, for, for them to play. So it's, it's, it's definitely satisfying knowing that we have another game. But right now we're focused on UNLV. And you mentioned a little bit about earlier about the seniors, and, and I know that that's something that Coach Hope talks about a lot playing for the seniors and and give me a sense of somebody who's an underclassman uh, what that game means from that perspective as an underclassman playing for the seniors well as an underclassman you don't want to let the senior down you don't want to go out there when they're trying to play their last game their last home game uh, and 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 not play your best game like you want to play your best game for them so that they can go out as winners and uh, and that's that's all that's all we can give them all right, Jerome, thank you very much, and good luck this Saturday. Yep. That'll do it for another edition of Aztecs Now Online, as we do all the time. We'll leave you with a look at what's coming up the rest of the week. Thanks for watching on GoAztecs.com.